Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Tuck from Your Boy Photography. On this episode, I'm going to share a personal story with you. How I got my day job. Doesn't sound like much, but trust me, when you hear this story, it's bound to make you laugh and be like, wow, use a fool for that. Alright, starts about 17 years ago. Yes, I had my job for 17 years. Another story. Well, 17 years ago, I had the day off. It's like a Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm going to say it was Tuesday. I decided to go get some donuts and coffee. I know what you're thinking. The last thing I need is donuts and coffee. That was the last thing I needed back then. Definitely don't need it now. But that's beside the point. Let me go on. While in the shop, I come across this girl. She's in the line in front of me. Banging body. Beautiful chocolate skin. Long hair. I don't know if it was a weave. I'm assuming it was a weave about 17 years ago. But that doesn't matter. She was still fine. Ooh, so fine. So fine. Blow my mind. Ooh. She's about 5'5", five, five, maybe 135, maybe 140. Body banging. Beautiful. So, I'm talking to her in the line. While we're talking, you know... We pay for our orders, we step outside. I give her my pager number. I asked her the same blase, blase. Her name, where she live, and how much she weigh. I got the digits and gave her my 1 800 people number. So, I'm like hoping she'll call me later on. We could hook up, maybe some drinks or something. Cause I'm really digging this chick. She was gorgeous. Well, she said, Can you walk me over to this call center? Walked her over to the call center. They were doing on the spot interviews. She wanted a job. Made me like her even more. Love a chick that got a job. So I walk her inside the spot. We spend a couple more minutes talking. They call her name. So she goes to interview. I already have a job, so I'm leaving. Guy grabs me and says, Ho, oh, I can interview you now. So in my young mind, I'm thinking, I have a job. I really don't need a job. But if I stay for the interview... We'll probably get out at the same time and I can continue my game and everything because they say persistence, you know, beats resistance. So I'm just going to keep talking to her or whatever. So I went to the interview. While we're in the office, the guy's going through all these papers. He's like, I can't find your application anywhere. There is no application. Never applied for the job. I already have a job. So I'm like, I can fill out an application now. See, because back then, we had to fill out everything on paper. It wasn't no email you my resume. It wasn't no going to the website and fill out application. Everything was on paper. So while I'm filling out the paper, he's interviewing me. After I fill out the application, give it to him. He's like, yo, you interviewed well. I went well. I uh, went very well. If I can talk. Went very well. I'm going to take you to do some testing because we test all the applicants for, you know, math skills. I didn't care less. Pass or fail. I already have a job. I'm just trying to spend more time so I can hook up with her. So, they take us to the auditorium. It's about 30 people in there. They give you a pen, I mean a pencil, paper, and uh, a big ass eraser. So we sit down, the instructor passes out the test. It's three questions on the test. Uh, one was multiple choice and the other one was, you know, answer the equation. The test answers I mean, the test questions was like, Mrs. Jones' bill is $50 a month. She applies for a 10% senior citizen discount and she qualifies. How much is her bill? Really, nigga? You really need a pen and paper and all that stuff for that? So I'm filling it out. Three questions. Bam, 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 bam. I'm done. I'm handing up the paper to him. And the woman's like, oh, you're done already? I'm like, yeah, it's not a problem. She's like, well, make sure you're done because you have to pass all three of these questions to go on to the next phase. I don't care. I already have a job. I'm just killing time so I can see that fine chocolate piece I walked in here with. So, she feels, you know, she goes over and she sees that everything is done, you know. I pass. So, one of the other instructors takes me. He takes me out in the hall. We make a right. We go to another conference room. In my peripheral, I see them walking her out the front door. 
told me this bra didn't pass that test. Shit broke my heart. But by then, I'm in too deep. While we're walking, we had to walk past, you know, other agents on the floor working. So I'm looking. I'm seeing fishnet stockings. I'm seeing stiletto heels, mini skirts, a lot of bad Jones. Didn't know the place was popping like that. Also seeing some familiar faces. And... These cats was giving me shout outs like we was in the airport or at the club or something like, yo, what's up, big man? You trying to work up in here? Yo, hi, that cat. That's my man. That's my fam. So the guy walking me to the other conference room was like, oh, so you know a lot of people here. I was like, yeah, I'm sort of a people person or anything like that. No, you know, we grew up here. I know everybody. We get to the room, get to be uh, talking to another guy, another supervisor. He likes the way I interview. He wants to offer me a job. He's like, this is how much we're paying. Family. They were paying almost a dollar more than I was getting at my current day job. So I'm like, hmm. That fine chocolate thing does have my pager number, so she can hit me up whenever. It's Broads in this mine. And the broads where I'm at, they, they ain't bad looking, but I've been there a while, so I know what they look like and shit. You know what I mean? I'm looking for something new. Plus, they paying me more. I'll take it. So, you fill out the app, you know, fill out the paperwork and everything. Training starts Monday. Mind you, this is Tuesday. I go back to my original day job on Wednesday, come up with some crazy lame excuse, because it was easy back then to go on short-term disability. There's a piece of cake. Went on short-term disability for them. Ended up at this job. Been there 17 years. Who else gets a job following some tale? Oh, man, but hey, I grown to love the job. I work with a great group of people, and the job allows me enough freedom that I can continue to do my photography and build and grow my client base without affecting the work I do for them. And hey, two sources of income is better than one at any time. So that's how I got my day job. I'd like to thank everybody for taking time out today to check out this vlog. I plan to do many, many more. I really do. But for now, if you hit that subscribe button, you'll be notified whenever I do anything. And if you want to catch up with me in between, you know, me doing these vlogs, um, on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, all under your boy photo. That's U R B O I P H O T L. Hit me up, I follow back, you know, share some stories together. Maybe I'll make a vlog about some wild stuff me and you get into. Until then, this is Tuck, your boy photography. Are you digging my Mega Man shirt? I had to probably, I had to say the name because a lot of people don't really know who he is and stuff like that because they all grew up, you know, they, they might know, you know, characters from Doom or Quake, but hey, Mega Man is the man. Thanks for checking me out. Till next time, peace.